Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back at it with another player review today. Now we're going to be going over the 88 Jeremy Macklin with the chemistries. He goes up to an 89 and he has 89 speed, 93 catching, 89 elusiveness, 91 spectacular catch, 82 release, 90 route running, 89 catch in traffic, and 85 jumping. He does have the slot expert chemistry along with the Thanksgiving chemistry. And his spin and juke move are at an 88 and an 89. A decent stats for a receiver. I do really like his catching stats. And what he definitely did best was his release. But definitely better, even better than the release, was his route running. And the speed is definitely good here. And as you can see, he makes, I believe that's Morgan Burnett, look absolutely silly. I mean, he just destroys him. And as you can see, he goes there on the out route. The out route is definitely the best route to use him with, as you can see. And then right there, he gets his speed all the way down there, and he beats Richard Sherman completely. I mean, Richard Sherman was not even close. And on this play, he catches it in traffic, breaks a tackle, and gets the touchdown. Not a lot of receivers are going to end up doing that. As you can see, he uses his speed there to escape from the defender and get the touchdown now i use out routes as i said the most really that's the best route to run with him about 10 to 12 yards down the field and if he's in burn he, if he's in man coverage he is most likely going to burn the defender and here he does make the catch in traffic i did have a little bit of problems with him catching it in traffic but i mean those problems were not big enough to me warrant not using it and this is the only spectacular catch i got and he didn't actually get the feed inbounds anyways but it was still pretty cool i mean one isn't very good but that's not really what you want to use him for and as you can see he goes deep there and he just that was Probably my favorite play right there. It was kind of a mix of everything he did. That was a good catch in traffic right there. And he does not catch everything. He is going to occasionally drop the ball, but there is I don't think there is a single receiver in this game who's not going to drop a pass in coverage or something like that. But is he worth 20,000 coins? That is the big question I like to answer at all of my videos. And I do believe that he is worth, without a doubt, 20,000 coins. He is better than probably most of the receivers who are in 88 overall at this point in the game because he does have a good, nice of a good mix of speed along with the catching stats. You're not going to see that in a lot of receivers. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next video.